Good morning, guys. What's up? It's your boy Chance, aka ES Blade, aka Retro Gamer, aka DJ Shadow Blade. But today I'm just coming in to you guys as myself, Chance, just a regular old dude. But I do have some news for you guys. Um, as soon as I start inviting some of you crazies into this shit, we will get this whole live stream going then. Now, I do apologize for not doing a, a live stream last night as I actually did quite a bit off, you know, camera yesterday and was just completely worn out. But I do have some huge news for you guys. But uh, for those of you just now joining, what's up? Uh, I'm not sure who else is going to be in this. So I'll just start it up. So give me just a moment here. Hey, shout out to whoever's watching right now, man. But, uh, Hey, so what's good? But uh, I just wanted to pop on here, give you guys an update on what's going. I don't know what's going on. Um, as you guys know, I haven't been doing very much. You know, as far as you know, doing music and that kind of thing. Well, believe it or not, there's actually a very good reason for that. Um, some of you know the reason. Um, I actually, unfortunately, at this time, cannot say what that reason is. But, um, you guys will know it's a huge surprise for you guys. It came as a surprise to me. So, what I'm going to be doing is I will surprise you guys on the last week of the event on what's going on. Hey, Dan, what's good, buddy? But, um... So, if you guys don't hear any music from me for a while, I do apologize, because I'm actually getting ready to record with my brother Marcus and our band, Hollow Injection, coming up in June. We're going to be sitting down recording our first album, actually. Sign and until we can find some other bandmates, we are gonna just gonna be me and him doing it digitally for a while. You know, we're gonna sit down, do the stuff out on FL and all that shit, and record from there. Hey, David, what's good, dude? Been a while, man. How you been, buddy? And if you guys are wondering, yes, I just woke up a little bit ago. And I know that a ton of you guys have been telling me I need to watch it. I need to watch it. So last night, I finally sat down, went online, and I actually got to watch, finally, uh, Andy Beersack's newest movie, American Satan. And I'll be honest with you, man. I absolutely have loved it. It's a great movie. You know, it's really good. It, it gets crazy in some scenes, I'll admit. But, you know, all in all, man, it's a really good movie. It's definitely one I would own. Like, not going to lie. Like, that is definitely one movie that I would own just flat out. 
Now, for all my gamers, and for all my gamers out there, specifically geared around Osaluto uh, Racing or mobile gaming for Osaluto uh, Racing, um, I did speak to the developers last night via email. Um, they are putting in chat coming very soon, so as soon as that comes out, I will be doing some gameplay footage on that and showcasing that now they do have custom body kits and custom graphic designing coming in very soon um they're not sure when but it is on the radar so that's coming out like with really soon i'm not sure when but the chat from what i've seen and from what i've heard personally it will be releasing really soon so be ready for that guys Hey, Jordan Wiggins, what is good, my dude? What is up, man? Now, I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this in the past. Um, you know, like, and I've spoken about hollow injection here and there. And you guys are probably wondering what that is. Well, that's actually... Mine and my brother Marcus Morales's band. Oh yeah, definitely, dude. Like you know me, man. You know I'm always happy to help you out with that shit, dude. So don't worry. Um, I will be doing that on my gaming channel, so I will be sending you the link to that as soon as I do the review. But um. If you guys don't know, me and my best friend slash brother Marcus, we we grew up together through grade school. Like, we'd known each other from, like, sixth grade all the way up through now. Like, I mean, we didn't, like, go to the same school for high school. You know, obviously, he stayed in Florida. I moved here. But we are you know, connecting back up, and, like, in the past, we talked about doing a band, like, shortly after we started talking again, after so many years, and back then, it was just an idea, and then, you know, I sat down, laid down some screen vocals over top of a demo that he had recorded on, which I sent him the tracks for, and just automatic, man, we were just like, dude, we gotta do this. Like, we've got to make this a thing. So, me and him sat down for, like, the next two, three days. Started bouncing around ideas for, like, band names. And he's like, you know, I have this one band name that, you know, has been stuck in my mind for a while. And, like, that I wanted to use. And originally, it was supposed to be named Suicidal Hearts in the album title was supposed to be Hollow Injection and then I'm like I'm sitting there thinking like working on the album cover because he wanted me to do an album cover for him and I'm like all right you know like, let me sit down and see what I can do and I came out with the band name as Hollow Injection and the album title Suicidal Hearts and I sent that to him and he was like dude I never would have thought of taking it this way. Um, I do love it. Like, let's run with it. Like, it's official. Like, let's do this. So, and, and we've been talking here and there. Like, I've been, you know, it's almost like that scene in American Satan in the very beginning where Andy and that dude are running riffs back and forth to each other. It's kind of what me and Marcus do now. Like, if I have, like, this sick riff or this sick instrumental that I've done and surrounding the style that he's going for, like, I'll share it to him. Like, I'll call him up and I'll play it and he'll be like, dude, like, that's sick. So we do have new music coming up around June-ish, like, right around the June, time of June, you know, that area. So, unfortunately, you might not be hearing much of my hip-hop work or anything like that for a while due to the fact that, you know, I am relocating, you know, studios. 
And the reason for that is because the one I'm in now is... Like, you guys can't tell. Like, this room is, like, literally falling apart. Like, the outlet where this Chromebook is plugged into, like, the thing's just completely falling apart. There's cracks up underneath the walls where, you know, wind's getting in and it's creating a cold, you know, air draft. So, it's it's a hard thing to deal with. Plus, this house is, like, over 100 years old, so... We're having to relocate, which sucks, but it is what it is. I mean, I do like this house. I love it a lot. You know, it's old. It's tiny. It's old, <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's time that I made a change. Yo, Michael, what's good, buddy? If you guys don't know, Michael here is actually the newest member of the Drift Club that, you know, me and Ethan and Rick started a while back, um, at least that I know of, like, he may have already been with ES for a while, I don't know, but shout out to you, Michael, what's good, buddy? But yes, sometime in June, if you guys are in the Florida area, let me know because I will be down there in June sometime. So be ready for that. So like I said, if you are in Florida, post it in the comments. So let me know we're out in Florida. And once me and Marcus start recording and we get our first album out, we do plan on doing shows and touring and stuff. So let us know where you guys are at because we definitely want to hear from you guys where you guys are at in Florida. Uh, we can't do out-of-state tours for a while due to the fact, you know, obviously money takes a lot of that shit to do out-of-state. Trust me, I've tried. Hell, it takes a lot of money to do tours around here because everybody wants so much down there in Florida. It's a little bit easier to do because Marcus has connections. I have connections, so it, it works out. Hey, not a problem, Michael. That's great, dude. You know, I hope you have a good time, man. But, um, amongst all this chaos and everything that's going on between me transferring from being a solo artist to a full-on band with my childhood best friend and brother, Marcus, um... And just getting everything packed up to move to the new studio. Um, I will be releasing some really a really cool art book actually made of you know different car concept designs and such. So for all you car fans out there, that book will be released within I'd say a pretty good one to two months. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when that will be, but it will be coming. Um, I will let you guys know on prices. Um, also, if you guys do want to buy the merchandise, I think today is the last day you can get it. Yeah, today is the last day you guys can get it. 15% off from Spreadshirt.com for 15% off. So if you guys want my retro gaming merch, you know, hit that store out today because tomorrow the sale ends, dude. Hey, Stephanie, what's good? So like I said, guys, if you guys do follow my gaming channel, Retro Gamer, um... Today is literally the last day that you guys can get 15% off of any of the merchandise at Spreadshirt.com. Uh, I do have the official team, the official Retro Gamer team member t-shirts in the shop. I just uploaded them the other day. 
So guys, if you guys want that merchandise, go to Spreadshirt.com. I will post the link in the comments right now for you guys to go check out. Let me head over there. Make sure it's the right one so I'm not getting lost. Yeah, we're at the right one. So here we go, guys. I am about to post the link in the comments right now for you guys to go there. Um, the discount code is welcome eleven forty four eight forty seven. So be sure to write that down. And there is a dash in there. It's welcome dash one one four four eight four seven. You guys can go there, buy the merchandise for 15% off. For today is the last day to get your hands on the merchandise for a really cheap price before it shoots back up there. So be sure to go there and pick up your merchandise, guys. Um, I will be uploading new merch to the shop probably today. Um, I may do some really cool, you know, more military based designs because i know a lot of my fans out there and i know a lot of you guys that i follow that you know i watch i know a lot of you guys are military based or have family that's in the military so i will be doing something special for you guys um in the shop um for all my rick and more excuse me for all my rick and morty fans yes i have some rick and morty merch up so far, I have Pickle Rick, and let's see who else I have. Shoney's Coffee. So, be sure to pick that shit up. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it for updates. Um, like I said, I will be working on a book for car concept art and all that shit. So, be ready for that. Um, I also will be doing some comic style art as well. I will be releasing some pretty cool ass art pieces on there for a book. So be ready for that. That I'm going to have a lot of fun with. But that will to take more time due to the fact that there's more detail into a lot of the ones I'm going to be releasing to the book. So that's going to be pretty cool. Now, as far as what's going to be in the car concept book, some of the designs I sent to you guys will be featured in the book. So that I'm definitely excited for. And I know you guys are excited to see your designs that you wanted me to do custom for you guys to be in it. So ultimately, you know, it's because of you guys that this book is even happening. I'm going through Lulu.com, which is a really... A really good self publisher, actually. So, yes, a lot of your guys' designs will be in the book. I am going to try to get everybody's designs in there. So, you know, that everybody kind of has that thing, you know? But yeah, um, I don't know about doing live stream gaming on here for a while due to the fact there's so many freaking, like you guys can't see, but there's like a ton of boxes like sitting right here, like right next to me. So it's kind of hard to move the table and spin it so that I can aim it at the TV right here. But I will try to work something out. But, uh, like I said, man, if you guys are in the Florida area, let me know and, you know, what part you're at. And when me and Marcus do enough shows to get money to start doing a state tour, 
Um, we will definitely try to stop in those areas, you know, pop in for you guys. Now, yes, there are certain people that will be on the guest list. Obviously, there are going to be, you know, very few, you know, people that we both respect, that I respect, that he respects, that will be on the guest list um, for the shows in those particular areas because of the fact that we know them. They're great people. So, if you guys are in the Florida area, let me know, and you will be put on the guest list. As far as, like, you know, me knowing you, where you're at, you know, that sort of deal. But, uh, anyways, guys, I don't know what else to really say. Oh, yeah. If you guys don't know, um, Roman Atwood is taking a break from daily vlogging for a while. I actually just caught his video this morning when I should have caught it a few days ago. I didn't know that it was up until today because my notifications is being a dick again. But I did watch the video. Um, he's not ending daily vlogging. He's just, you know, more or less taking a break. And also, if you guys are in Florida and you are into D1 drift racing or any kind of racing, message me where the best tracks are at. Because I definitely would like to, you know, at least make a couple of the drift events for this year because I did look it up. And Florida is one of the places where they're going to be. So I would definitely like to catch this year's drift event down in Florida. Um, you know, you got a whole mass of a good line of drivers this year, like Von Getting Jr. Um, the guys from Magic, um, from Black Magic are going to be racing. Um, there's just going to be a bunch of great drivers out there this year. So if I can, I will try to make that drift event, depending where it's at. Like, I definitely would like to make that event this year. As the last time I seen a drift event was actually locally here in Akron. Um, actually right across the street before all this over here turned into what it is now. Um, it used to be a massive parking lot. Um, it was a small course. They had it gated off. So, like, it used to be a parking lot, but now it's, like, one massive field. They tore all the road up and shit. So, I mean, other than going across the street to see a few drift events, like, there's not really much anything around here anymore. Hey, morning. What's going on, sis? But, um, like I said, if you guys are in Florida and you guys are into drifting or any kind of racing, like, I love all kinds of racing, whether it's dirt track, whether it's, you know, drifting. Obviously, you know, I'm huge on D1 drifting. That's what I'm best at. Um, whether it's stock car racing, circuit racing, you know, Formula One, bikes, you name it. Like, if you guys know where there's any really good tracks specifically around the area of like Sarasota Northport you know let me know and I'll definitely try to make those events that's good to hear I'm glad to see that I'm glad to hear that so I mean if I do go to these events man and you guys see me there and you see me there like don't be afraid to walk up and say hey what's up like you know, I love the fans. I love hanging out with you guys. Now, this year, I will be competing in this year's Osaluto Racing Drift Tournament. So, that is coming up. Uh, later today on there, there will be a car meet that I'm going to be setting up for everybody. So, we can all just hang out and have some fun. Yo, Christopher Friend, what is good, man? If you guys don't know, my buddy Chris here has a channel called Just Gaming. What is good, man? Uh, 
And if you guys have not checked out his channel yet, go do that. He's got some amazing content. I fucking love his content. But uh, like I said, guys, for those of you into racing games, uh, there will be a car meet on Osceola Racing later on today at the new airport track. Um, I'm actually going to set it up to where it's at the far end of the map. Not like the tower area, but over where that parking garage is. Like, it'll be in there. We can throw down some shit in there, so... I hear you, man. Like, it's been the same for me as well, dude. Nice, man. I can't wait to see that. I cannot wait to see those videos, man. That's going to be fucking awesome. But like I say, guys, if y'all are into my gaming channel and you guys do want to buy some merchandise, let me know and I will send you guys the link because today is the last day you guys can get any of my merchandise. For 15% off the original price. Hell yeah, it does. Need for Speed is good. I do like Need for Speed series. Um, as you guys know, I literally have every single one of them for GameCube. And almost all of them for Nintendo Wii. Um, now, I, like I said, I will be doing a car meet on Osceola Racing and if you guys haven't done so yet and you guys are wanting to know what it is it's kind of like R Factor or Car X Drift Racing it's really cool it's actually a really good simulator um, they do hold very real competitions on there you can do a quick drift quick race um, you can compete for points to become champion of each track that they have set for drift so right now I'm actually working on the S15 Sylvia AR Edition tournament. So that's honestly it's one of the hardest competitions I've done. Um, I'm currently in 73rd, 75th place. So I am working my way up the ranks from the bottom. So it's it's a tough competition, but hopefully with a little bit of luck and enough practice, I will be able to take the gold for the docks um i am gonna try to go for um what they call is dakokuden which is actually ebisu um drift track i am gonna try to go for gold on that uh, i am going i'm definitely going for the gold on the toge um that one's gonna be a little more hard because that one takes time and yeah but um, I will be recording some new gameplay video for you guys later on today. I already have that planned out. Um, since I am stepping away from the music for a while to, you know, get things set up for June. Because as you guys know, June's like only, what, nine, ten weeks away. So, I mean, it's... It's going to be crazy, man. Like, I got a crazy-ass nine weeks coming up. So, within that time frame, I do apologize if I don't upload, you know, daily videos like this. But, you know. Believe it or not, man, I actually was at one point in the top. I was actually number one on the docks for the AE86 Trueno. Uh, back when they first released it, I actually took first place at the docks um, on that. So I'm definitely going to try to get that car back up there to where it was. Like the competition has grown since then. So I am trying to get back up there. Um, but uh, yeah, man. Other than that, I mean, not much is going on. Um, I do have some really cool pictures of my last couple of drift runs from yesterday and last night that I will be posting up and tagging all you guys in. So I think these pics, I think you guys are going to like actually quite a bit. Like I got some pretty cool angled runs. Um, so, yeah. But like I said, guys, if you have not picked up Osceola Racing, 
definitely do it, man. It's a fun game. Um, you do have to work to get your car to the drift specs. But there is a little trick that I learned to gaining fast credits and all that. Which is if you have a Chromebook or something like that. Or if you have the ability to download it. This is something I just found out. That if you click like multiple times before a video. Like let's say you do like a hundred clicks. Before the video starts up for you to earn credits. It automatically gives you that amount of credits for the amount of clicks that you do. Heck yeah, man, definitely, Chris. Um, like I said, um, I will be keeping you updated, especially, man. But, um, yeah, with that being said, guys, this has been your boy Chance here, aka ES Blade with the Extreme Speeds. Um, I have to hop off here because I do have to get to practicing on there because the tournament actually starts in a little bit. So, I will let you guys know the outcome of the first round for my stuff. And I will see you guys in the next live stream, man. Like I said, I will keep you guys updated and informed on everything that goes on as it happens. Anyways, guys, I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next live stream, man. Love y'all. Shout out to every single one of you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. Peace. Oh, and all my drifters out there, man. Stay sideways and keep those tires turning, man. Keep that bitch sideways and don't ever lose control. And remember, if you ain't out of control, you ain't in control.